Hi, Sam. Good morning again to everybody when they watch us this blue peak and beautiful morning for inside Wimbledon, Nigeria. A lot of people don't start to jubilate because now Nigeria don't decide to um, their new president. They don't get their new president, Muhammad Buhari. He's coming back um, to rule again for another four years. Again, Mr. George's Magnum since for here. He's a political um, analyst and editor anyway. And Ingo actually took her inside this particular matter. Congratulations to Nigerians, right? Yes, congratulations to all of them. <laughs> congratulations. That doesn't mean whether it's like uh, uh, when you when you when you express your when you express your opinion and uh, you disagree with person. The, the, the fact that you now you can't tolerate that person in their opinion, respecting opinion, understanding opinion, that doesn't in you no know, means say you don't accept that opinion. Right. You just tolerated it. The thing we say, I know that some Nigerian feel we, we understand which are the talk. Mm -hmm. Because nobody any every Nigeria you will say congratulations to them, they will answer you back mm -hmm. because nobody their candidate to win. But however, we still need to thank ourselves, say, say say tell ourselves, say congratulations, because at least the election no be you know you know they volatile. Although in some state oh, the thing they somehow, but for, for some most of the state. The team went uh, peacefully, and that peacefully thing is what we should congratulate ourselves for. Now, you know, say if, if uh, you get a friend and the person do bad the first time, and you mm. give him a second chance, mm. you they expect, say, the second chance where I give him, he will mm. surely do better to make yeah. our friendship day stronger. Looking at the president we elected um, now to rule again for another four years, you feel, say, this time we will start to see the dividend of democracy? Uh, you know, say our, our uh, elders, they say, when person falls, when small picking falls, Ingo, Ingo look uh, front. But when elders fall, they go look back. Why did they look back? Say, did they look, did they look that thing where they do wrong? Where it, where it fall them, where make them fall? Mm -hmm. So that they go next time when they, they pass that place, that thing will go fall them again. Mm -hmm. So I think, say, wait till you talk, say Ingo put her into consideration. Because uh, that when in 2015, when Nigerians vote for Buhari, our president. Nigerians, the vote, the good will we then give her. I know counting say in in the space of four years, Nigerians will probably say they know one time again. So that means say he need to look at all that thing we no do well. We be say where they give Nigerians consign. When Nigeria can say that good way, we then give up for 2015. Uh, How he tell loss him? He need to trace back his, his step and then look up in order to correct those steps. That is the only way he can win the heart of Nigeria again. Mm. If he not do that one, Nigerians will just say, okay, uh, we will just tolerate him for another four years. 2023, we will do, we will get another person. Now, before we talk about other things, I will talk about all the um, other parties where they actually um, vie for this particular position. Maybe we talk about the eight Senate. Now, we know, say, um, during the four years um, rule where the president be actually there, um, the eight Senate and the presidency, they, be, they get some kind of quarter and back and forth. Yes. Now, looking at the ninth Senate, now we get over 60 uh, senators, new senators, we go to enter. Yes. And Bukola Saraki. We know saying no, they actually come back. Which yes. is your expectation from the new, the ninth Senate and the presidency? You see, uh, before my expectation, make a first talk, say that this, this thing will don't happen. So these people are fresh people. Mm -hmm. So, and they are, most of them will be former governors. That, that is where, that was where the problem of the eighth Senate, that that place it did. At a point, Nigerians see Senate as a retirement home for governors. But now, the people who win, where did they come now? All of them, most of them will be go former governors. Mm -hmm. So as they come back now, they, they come now, we expect say, all of these people, some of them are technocrats, that they will understand that they come here, can't do work. Nobody say to antagonize the other harm of government. Because whether we like them or not, Part of the problem where this government gets, that is in it. In fact, at a point, some, some people, civil society group, they even agitate and say, may they scrap the Senate, may they leave the House of Rep. Why? Because the problem with Senate, they give the executive arm of government, it's too much. 
That is why they get separation of power, check and balance. We don't talk, say, you know, if we check the uh, executive uh, arm of government, you feel check them. But when if you say, even something where you know, say, go benefits the people, where you know, say, ah, the executive arm don't pass this bill to also to solve certain economic issue. If you notice, say, the executive arm of government, they can't they do what did they call uh, what was that? Uh, uh, executive, they call it executive something. Where we say go allow the president to do that thing, even when Senate no approval. So it, it doesn't need, and to come, the, the terrible thing about it, we say the two arm of government, now the same party, now they come from. That thing, now they give most Nigerians concern. Say, how come? If, or if, or if, if, if had it been, say, this one are PDP, this one are APC, the two arm, now APC, APC, yet, now not to work together. This one now, P APC still win most of the uh, seats back to the Senate. We hope, say, the person where they go put there, say, it will work well with this executive arm. Because all of these things, when there is acrimony, when there is fight, misunderstanding between the, the executive and the legislative arm of government, now the people, they suffer. Mm. Now, because I saw your video of um, the president and the wife, I uh, get the big boots. Now, that one brings me to my next question, talking about the wife of the president, Aisha Buhari. Yeah. Now, before the election period, she become as I talk, say, the reason why her husband not the work and the president, Muhammad Buhari, now because of the cabal, mm. where he get, say, some people for inside in cabal, not the alarm to work well. Mm. Now, talking about that cabal, mm. are we, you feel, say, at this point, being re-elected again to rule again for another four years, that cabal needs to be changed? Uh, you see, now, what we take start with that? I say, when Elder fall, <laughs> he go look back. Mm -hmm. he, don't, he, 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 he didn't follow, but he didn't just no fall. We, we finish. Mm -hmm. Now, making no come for finish, although now, now four years in get now, the, after the four years, you know, Nigerian, Nigerians, you know, you know, get anything with Nigerians again. Mm -hmm. But within wife talk, nobody only wife don't talk up. For your better half to say, you will you be my husband. You don't even know the people where they work with you. To say, ah, some people don't collect power from the hand of the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Say no be the president they in charge. Now nah, another people, not nah, serious allegations. Nah, serious one, yeah. And it's it's an indictment on the president. Say he not they capable of handling the government. That is what the statement of that in wife. That time. That now we the meaning be that. But now we not do anything. The opportunity when Nigerians for they do something, now nah, they nah, it don't go so. He don't come back again. Me, I, I would think, say, a wise man, go come look and say, okay, Una nearly kill me for my first time because I trust Una. Now, it's my own time. I want to be in charge of my government because now you, Nigerians, vote for. Nobody the people. You are supposed to be delegating power to them. They are not supposed to be controlling you. You have constitution before you. You can, whatever you don't know, you have the uh, attorney general of the federation. Call them, say, now nah, this thing I won't do. Share this thing, go with the law, or you don't go with the law. If you don't go with the law, how will go feed Duam where you go with the law? Then they go tell you, say, now nah, so you go Duam. If you if you know they satisfied with the counsel of your attorney general, you will come call another people from outside. We have senior advocates everywhere. You go call them, say, put them together. Say, okay, this thing I won't do. How we go feed Duam? Because as I write and so, as we develop and so, they say, no go with the law. But when I help me Duam, think out with them so that this thing will go with the law. They go Duam, then you go do everything where you go do. It will be at the benefit of the masses. The essence of government, now to take care of the welfare of the people. And when the people does not have the basic amenities, 
but they've been doing the campaign. They, they, they shout. I, because of Pastor John, well, they support one other candidate. Then they shout, say, oh, Pastor John spent uh, 16 billion on electricity right. mm. and this. They don't see result. But you wait on day there for four years to wait and be the result. Something, me, I, I they talk more. I say, Fashion Lawe be the uh, Minister of Power, uh, Works and Housing. When in the governor, in they tell us, say, this thing don't be rocket science. He said, no be rocket science. Oh. He said, there is nothing uh, too much in giving Nigerians electricity. You don't be there for four years now. We never see any change. You have to be accountable and transparent in any everything way they do. But this government, I hope, say, this time around, they will be accountable to the people and their policies will be to the benefit of the people. Now, another thing would be amazing as regards to this election. Now, the number of registered voters slash the number of people will actually come outside to vote. vote. You go see, if you add the one where APC gets over 15 million and then you add the one where PDP gets over 11 million, you know, every reach 30 million of Nigerians will come outside vote as against 84 million plus of registered voters. That one call for serious concern. Yes, now, now, now serious matter. Because uh, when we look up, and you go see, say, now only for South South, now in the, the population will come out. Very, no plenty. Very, very low, sorry. Yes. Mm -hmm. I talk and hear, say, Nigerians, especially the South South, South South, South South people and the Southwest people, we too, they, they believe, say, because we, we are educated, I can always get what I want on my own. After all, what the government don't they do for me before? Why well, will go waste my time, queue for inside sun? They vote for one person, will be say, no go even send me at the end of the day. Not be the people, I, although, you, you know, when you are educated, there are certain things where you go say, no, I ate this insult, I no go collect them. And that is what is happening in the south, south and southwest of Nigeria. Because the, the, the Nigerians, the, when, when they are educated, to some extent they have some element of big manism in them. They will just feel, say, no, you can't insult me like that. And this thing, I won't take it. The last time I, I did it, this is the insult I get. Now, this time, I no go get them. But in the north, where we think, say, they know they too much educated. Where we they think, say, oh, they are the population of the people, the grassroots, that is, did not go to school, plenty pass the one way they educated. Even those grassroots where plenty pass, now them, they come out to vote for not. All of them, the truck pusher, or the mechanic, or the, uh, this, all of them, they will come out. Why? Because we, we, the same information we then get access to, now we get access to. But we we just believe inside or say we know it all. But them, as they tell them, that's what they go put out for their head. They will come go. If you see them, they will go, those, those of them that voted in Lagos, when they get to polling unit, they know what thing they're supposed to do. In case, say, maybe the thing different, or they don't change that before the election day, they will come reach there, they will come, they ask questions. Oh, God, I beg, uh, how they go do them? What I go do now? You go put them through. Until they don't do that vote like this, they will continue to ask questions. Well, it's good to ask questions because we see, yes. we see the number of void votes and people they come outside thoughts now because in Nigeria is not they ask questions and that's now why we get that large number. Some they blame them on voters' education. See, not be voters' education. See, INEC don't do enough. Political parties do enough. But the thing we say, I, I said this thing for polling, for polling booths where when they, they count void votes, the thing plenty. Plenty, thousands. I can't look and say, what did cause this thing? The problem be say, majority of people where they go political rally, now the food and the money where they go get, now in their mind day. Everything where they talk, now this finger you go take vote, oh, now this thing you go do, they no listen. The money where they know say they go get for that rally, and the food where they go give them. As soon as they get that thing, you don't see them, they don't carry their bag, they don't they go. So at, at the, on the day of election, they will go out, oh, they believe say they don't know. When they reach there, 
They say that this one, they go carry this one vote. They know, they go, if you see the, all of the votes, everything, cross the line, cross the line, cause they just void all day. And that is... And, but, but let me not forget, say we get governorship. We never finish for election for Nigeria. Oh. Yes. Let me not say we don't fold our hands. We of get course. governorship election, we go share just a few days yeah. from now. And this void vote, how, which role INEC need to play? Because yes, uh, everybody gets their own role to play, but which role INEC need to play again to avoid the increase in void votes? I think, say, uh, what the INEC feel do be say, they feel uh, enlightened people. Yeah. They feel continue their awareness campaign. Say, okay, well, uh, because of what happened for during the presidential, uh, this is what we notice. They now make, they will continue to make emphasis, stress that thing that their campaign, so that people go understand. Then the political parties too. They need to do maybe town hall meetings with their people. Because the, 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 the both uh, major parties, they have several void, uh, void votes that they have to reject the votes. And that is a minus to their score. So they need to do meetings with their people and ensure that while they are doing the meeting, they are all concentrated. Because most of the meeting, immediately they call town hall meeting. They believe they are going to chop up to no food for there today. I, uh, uh, give or take. 1,000 never go follow me, go house. Now waiting they their head. They need to begin to stress it. Say, look, oh, this thing, you know, make, make I tell you something. Make political parties say, come meeting, you know, come town hall meeting. No money, no food. You don't go see anybody there. You don't go see anybody. Now let the shift end of the party. Now, now you go see. They go say you that they go they tell themselves maybe those ones get money. They don't chop now. They don't chop. They don't need money. We're looking at 2023 now. Some people they come outside talk say the ballot paper itself as regards to voting it did too big and too many logos there on top. And some they come outside talk say why be say we never embrace technology as regards to voting. What do you feel say go be the challenges if we embrace technology or the opportunities we go day if we embrace them? Uh, I, I think, say, the best thing now for us to embrace technology, if we can do move from this level now to electronic voting, it, it will pay us well. Okay, look at the ballot paper. Mm. Nobody say, why you, think, why you see things say there's still few big election? Because even this ballot paper, if they still up, then go to a printer from one corner, then find way Put them yeah. inside the, no, this no, thing. No. You not go no because if now one person to print himself, you not be saying you not go put up a machine to check. Mm -hmm. Say this one now, this person now, the same person. Nothing. So the question is, why do you now take all my fingerprints in the first place? If you are not going to cross check that fingerprint with waiting people vote. So the electronic thing might be the solution. Say, I me, I see the wonder. You get, if we cannot use our ATM, or just do something like ATM, that you can use to vote anywhere you are in the country. Look at the inconvenience where this election gives people that are where they cast one. They can't, they, they, when they postpone the election. They postpone the election. People where they don't travel, go to their village, send a day they register for, 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 to vote. Those people now, they have to come back to Lagos because for that, within that period where they postpone the election, they still need to work. Nobody then get the work where they do. So that kind of inconvenience, no go day there. If I register for Lagos, I day can find a doing election. I go free go any uh, ATM or any whatever they, they created that time, that is the electronic form. I think go there, go vote. And the excuse where I neck they give, say uh, people in the village, there is no ATM in, in villages. But with that excuse will only, will only be valid if we, go, we, if we go declare public holiday during election when we are using electronic voting. During electronic voting, you don't need public holiday. You don't need to say any curfew. Everybody will go about their normal business. They will just say, you can vote within this time and this time. So I might be in my office, use lunch time, go vote. You understand? There is no need for uh, this thing. And people where they village, 
They go the city where they are around them. They go enter motor come there and I don't be say only day day. Don't be say that it's coffee. It's it makes things easy. All this problem where they excuse where they, they give. It no go day. That is why in advanced country they know they you know they know say they, they vote. Voting go they go on. Everybody they go about their usual business. The thing where I believe say you know go one, why they no one do them. Now because of this rigging, rigging, rigging way they, they do. Some people know say this power where they hold on to. If they do electronic voting, we no go pick get power again. Because for you to get that ATM, you need a bank account. So I'm not forget even with your ATM, people feel actually akin to him. But thank you so much, Mr. Judges Mark Nobson, say you enter our studio. I know so you get a lot of talk as that to the election. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank even you. actually political analyst and news editor for Cool Wazobia Info. So all those news say you actually listen on top of uh, news on top of our radio stations. Now in the actually world behind the scenes. Thanks a bunch again. Thank you. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.